Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for the awkward angle, but if I didn't have it, then um, everything would just go falling. So today is a another empties video. I am coming back to you with a full container. So let's get into it. First thing right here on top is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. You know I love these wipes and I need to get more next time I go to BJ's because BJ sells them in a three pack. Um, they last me forever because I don't use them on my face. I use them for swatches. Um, so really, really, really love those. I have a trash can right next to me. I planned ahead of time. Um, this is just a... <laughs> And soap that I got a couple years ago for around Christmas time. As you can see, it looks like an ornament. Really cute. This was like vanilla scented. It was okay. So I have a mini of the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I bring this size to Grand Assembly every year and really enjoy it. Would highly recommend. Um... I finally, finally, finally finished my Fresh Sparkling Snow. Um, you guys know that this was in my project pan. As you can see, it has little markings. There is a tiny itty bitty bit left, but, but I can't get it out. <laughs> I've tried. So I'm calling it quits. I'm so happy. I was getting so sick of the scent. So very, very happy about that. Um, I'll put that over here because I'm not sure if I mentioned it in my last project pan or not. I'll have to, I'll have to check on that. If not, then I need to save it. Um, this is the Axe um, Phoenix Shampoo and Conditioner. It's crushed mint and rosemary scented. It's okay. It's not my favorite um, for Adam, and Adam will just kind of use whatever I buy him. But it's not my favorite for him. That landed on the floor. That's okay. Um, this is the Downy. Fresh Protect um, in a wash odor defense. These are the Downy Unstoppables. You guys know I love these. This one is in April Fresh. And I also have one in Just Fresh. I preferred the April Fresh compared to the Fresh. But right now I'm using Lavender and I'm really loving that. Um, this is a sample of the Rod Rodan and Fields Microdermabrasion Paste. I really, really like this. And I'm going to have to look into it since my favorite scrubs don't exist anymore. Yeah, calling. Calling out on you, Neutrogena. Anywho, I really enjoyed this. I brought this to Grand Assembly. I got this sample from my friend Kendra. Um, she no longer does Rodan and Fields, but I'm sure you can just go to the Rodan and Fields website and order it and they'll give it to whoever. Um, kind of like what Unique does. So... Really like that. Want to repurchase that. Um, this is the Gillette Body Hydrator Body Wash. It was okay. He didn't really have a um, opinion on it. I think he just really likes his Old Spice, to be honest with you. But I got him this for Christmas. I enjoy the smell of it. But um, we're trying out a couple different body washes right now. So will I repurchase? I don't know. We'll see. This is the Old Spice Aqua Reef Body Wash. We absolutely love this one. And I would repurchase, um, like I said, we're just trying out some different body washes right now. So we'll see. We also have Stronger Swagger. Did not like that one. And then we have the Swagger 2-in-1 Shampoo Conditioner. Don't like it. Don't like the scent, I should say. Um, he doesn't really care. Adam actually used up a cologne. This is the Blue Touch by Frank Oliver. I'm going to be getting this for him again because it is my absolute favorite scent on him. So I'm going to put it over there so I remember. Um, I used up a L'Oreal Micellar Cleansing Water. I love cleansing waters. I think you guys got that by now. Um, I used up another Arthritis in Sport by LDN. I need to go back to Dollar Tree and get some more of these, especially now that I'm walking more often. They just help with sore bones and sore muscles, and I just need it again. Um, I finished up a Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist. Love it, love it. 
I pre-purchased that like 20,000 times. I think you guys know that by now. Um, I used up the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and Original Shea. I'm still working on the um, Body Butter. I did not use them up at the same time this time around because I got really lazy about moisturizing. So that should be in the next empties, but really, really good. You guys know I love Tree Hut. Um, I used up the Big Kahuna bottle of the Batiste Dry Shampoo in Coconut and Exotic Tropical. There is no actual coconut in here. It's just fragrant, so I was able to use it. I didn't really like the smell all that much. Um, I thought I would. I really don't. Um, it was just too artificial for me, so I would not repurchase this scent again. Um, what's this? Oh, it's the Caress Adore Forever Body Wash. Um, I really liked this. Um, but I don't think I'd repurchase it. I don't think it really did much for my skin. This is the Dermacil uh, Cocoa Butter Moisturizing Body Lotion. I just have this in a different container, so it's it's not really gone. But here, here, here's the bottle. It's as big as my head. Um, I use this Patchology Flash Patch Hydrating Lip Gels. These were awesome i need to use another one soon because it was awesome um it just felt so good and my lips felt so hydrated after i would highly recommend those um i used up some of the assured rx 100 percent pure cotton rounds they were okay i wouldn't really recommend them unless you're in a pinch um but there are definitely better ones out there um i used up the jp candy cane hand soap it smelled really good like i think this is a good dupe smell wise to bath and body works soaps but uh, yeah it was just kind of a weird consistency so i probably wouldn't purchase again but i do think it scent wise is comparable to bath and body works um I used up a Maybelline Make It Dewy setting spray. I love this setting spray. Um, I used up a package of my Kiss Ever Easy Lashes in Style 11. You guys know those are my favorite. Um, I used up another Murad Time Release Acne Cleanser. There's always that little bit left and I can never get it out. And I'm not one of those people that will cut their containers open because that's too much work <laughs> but you guys know i love this cleanser so i would repurchase that in a heartbeat um i used up two bubble baths i used up the bath and body works energy and the bath and body works recharge um i really like the recharge when i'm sick and the energy is really good for if i need some motivation in the morning it just kind of gets me going let me uh get some air out of the trash bag um i used up the maybelline great lash eyebrow clear eye mascara i use it as an eyebrow gel um i this was in my project pan and yeah i'm gonna keep that out because i'm not sure if i brought that up either i did use one of the uh, cucumber facial essence masks um, Adam used up an Old Spice Stronger Swagger like I said we didn't really like this scent I used up a Tom's um, Wild Lavender deodorant really really liked that deodorant um, I'm kind of back to using Schmitz right now because that's what I had backups of but I will be switching back to Tom's once I'm out of those um, Adam used up an Axe Anarchy deodorant. It smelled okay. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Axe. I think it's a little too strong, but in a pinch it worked. I think he has like three more of those too, so. Um, I used up a Coco in Shea Butter Rejuvenating Mask from Bolero Beverly Hills. I really liked this. I hope my uh, family dollar still has them because I really liked them. Um, this is the scrub that I finished up and Neutrogena betrayed me on. It's not Neutrogena's fault. It is now illegal to have the microbeads in 
scrubs. So I don't blame Neutrogena, but at the same time, you can have but like sugar or something in. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I feel betrayed. Um, I used up a Clinique Take the Day Off cleansing balm. You guys know I love this. I've already repurchased it. And it's on my favorites list for Ulta because I will always repurchase it. And there we go. Um, I used up a box of Clarisonic Radiance Heads. I love the Radiance Heads. Um, I used up another Feminine Wash. I mean, why does it keep doing that? This is kind of essential. Um, I used up the Macadamia Ultra Rich Moisture Mask. You guys know, I love the smell of this. And I would highly recommend and I would repurchase. Um, put that there for a minute. This is the Body Butter the Soft Soap Body Butter Heavenly Vanilla Body Hydrating Wash. I really liked the smell of this one, um, but I didn't find it all that hydrating, so I don't think I would repurchase that. Um, Adam used up an Axe Clicks deodorant spray thing. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of Axe, so I used up a Makeup Academy Professional um, Brush Cleansing Balm really love that you guys know that i also used up a white rain moisturizing body wash how many body washes have i mentioned in this video already i think like 10 um that's how long it's been so really liked this one i liked the smell of it for summertime but like i said with the lavender one i just don't find it all that moisturizing um so i probably wouldn't purchase it again um used up a airwick I used up Clairol Hair Food Volume Shampoo and Conditioner Infused with Kiwi. I love the Hair Food line. I always have one from the Hair Food line um, in rotation. Actually, I don't right now. That's weird. Um, but I do have a backup. Um, so I always have backups of the Hair Food line. Um, the Volume one, I actually really liked. I didn't like it at first because I felt like it wasn't really doing anything for my hair, but now that I don't have it, I kind of miss it. Just saying. Um, I used up a Kenrock Curl Defying Cream. I really, really love the Curl Defining Cream for when I'm scrunching my hair. Um, I used up another Tom's deodorant. This one's in Wicked Cool. I love Tom's. Um, I used up the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. I really liked the serum. I just don't like how I don't know when I'm going to use it up because it's in opaque packaging. But I would repurchase. Um, so I have the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla Sulfate Free Shampoo and Conditioner Samples. I brought these to um, Grand Assembly with me. I thought they smelled really good. Um, I don't really think they did much for my hair though, so I don't think I would repurchase them personally. Um, but I do, this is the moisture and shine though. I could just not have had enough in the samples to really have to been able to tell a difference. Um, so maybe I will purchase it because I did like the smell. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, I used up two skin tomates. I used up the Island Berry Breeze one and I used up the lotionized one. So, love Skin to Mint. You guys know that. Um, I used up an e.l.f. exfoliating scrub. This one was actually pretty good. It's a fine scrub, but if you put, like, just enough pressure on your skin, I think it actually does work fairly well. Um, but I want to really look into the Rodin and Feels Microdermabrasion Scrub. Um, another simple cleansing facial wipes. I already talked about those. Here is the natural white sensitive toothpaste. You guys know I love this toothpaste, but I am craving something different. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, another deodorant from Adam. This is the Axe Black Chill. I, is this the one I liked? Yes. I actually really like this scent. Um, 
So I'm actually really sad that that one's gone. Um, I used up a Tresemme Keratin Smooth Shine Serum. I really like this serum. You guys know that. Um, and it's on my Ulta favorites. I need to order more because I'm almost out of the one I have as well. Um, I used up this sample of the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm. I actually thought this was really good and I'm, I would purchase it and try it. So, yeah. Um, what else? What else? I used up the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. This was actually pretty good and I would get a full size of that because I think it was a um, physical and chemical exfoliator so it was kind of nice. I did use another Burt's Bees purifying sheet mask. I did not keep it on as long as I did the time where it like kind of burned um, but I felt like I, I actually followed the two minutes but I felt like it did nothing that time so I'd rather, I think I'd rather have it burn and see results than do it for two minutes and not see anything, personally. Um, I did use up a Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I really love that. I have two backups of the really large size. Um, I used up a sample of the Peter Thomas Roth Irish More Mud Purifying Black Mask. It was okay. I... I personally didn't really see a difference. That doesn't mean there wasn't a difference. Um, I used up a Jergens Ultra Healing. Not really sure where it left off, but really, re I was saying that I used up a Jergens Ultra Healing. I really do like that lotion. Um, I used up a Utterly Smooth Hand Cream. You guys know I love this one. Um, I used up not one, not two but three of the Arbonne um, Shea Butter Hand Creams, um, two in Verbena Mint and one in Jasmine Vanilla. This hand cream has been wonders for my hands lately. Um, I did use up the, as you saw in my Project Pan, the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. Um, I really love this primer. I plan on repurchasing, but I have so many primers that I need to go through that I just haven't repurchased it yet. Um, I went through a Salon Perfect Style 105. I actually really liked these lashes. Um, they looked very natural, and I just really liked them for more makeup like what I'm wearing today. Um, I used up a Body Fantasies Pink Sweet Pea Fantasy Body Spray. Really like that one. I used up a Bath & Body Works Fragrance Free Shea Butter Hand Cream. Really liked that. Um, I used up a Trioderma Eczema Fast Healing, um, cream. This one is actually, like, really oily, so I would not recommend this one for, like, if you're at work or anything. But it's made with certified organic aloe, so that's cool. Um, I used up a honey butter, um, sun-kissed and citrus honey hand cream from Bath & Body Works. That one was okay. I don't... I feel like the Bath & Body Works hand creams didn't do much other than just soothe like the itchiness I get from them. Um, so I used up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mascaras. Seven mascaras, guys. So I used up a mini of the Urban Decay Perversion Bigger Blacker Batterer Mascara. I really like that mascara. I want to get a full size and see if it compares. Um, I used up another Maybelline Lash, and Lash Sensational Mascara. I used up the L'Oreal. You guys know I love this one, but I feel like they may have changed the formula and I'm not liking it as much lately. Maybe I've just been getting duds. I don't know, but I don't know. I used up a L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I really did not like this mascara. I don't get what the hype is about, so... Um, I used up a Benefit Roller Lash, again... Didn't really like this mascara. Um, I used it whenever I needed to wear false lashes. I thought it was nice to um, for a mascara to use with false lashes, but I really didn't like it. Maybelline, the Falsies Push Up Drama. I did not use this one that much on its own, so I can't say how it worked on its own, but I liked it as a pairing mascara. Um, the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I hated this mascara. What is everyone's hype on it? I don't get it, <laughs> um, but I did not like that mascara. I got that as a birthday gift um, from Ulta. 
I, and then I have the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara. I did not like this when I first opened it, but once it started to dry out, I really ended up liking it then. I'm putting those on front because I clean off the wands and I donate the wands to um, a wildlife rescue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chapsticks. Eight lip moisturizers. Seven chaps, so six chapsticks, two lip moisturizers. So I used up the Milani lip oil. I want to say this was like the peach one, number six. Um, I really like the Milani lip oils. I have multiple in backup. I used up an Aquaphor lip repair and protect bra Arad Spectrum SPF 30. Really, really like this as well for when I went to bed. I used up a Chapstick Total Hydration Eucalyptus Mint. This was really nice, but, um, and it smells so good, but it melts really easily. So just be careful with that. Um, I used up a Burt's Bees Pomegranate Moisturizing Lip Balm to the point where when I opened it, um on one of its last legs it literally fell out so that's gone um you guys know i love burt's bees um the blistex raspberry lemonade blast i believe it happened to that one too yep and then i used up three of my curad um lip balms with sbs f sbf 15. Um, I used up the Bath and Body Works Mary Berry Kiss Antibacterial Hand Gel. I used up two, three, con three concealers. I used up the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. Uh, it's all gone. <laughs> Can you see the scrape marks? I think I talked about this in my project pan. I'm not sure. And then I also used up the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and the Rimmel Match Perfection. All these were in um, project pans. And actually, no, I 100% did talk about these because I remember waiting to talk about these before I threw them in the uh, empties. I used up um, another lotion. I used up the Gold Bond Eczema Relief 2% Colloidal Oatmeal Lotion. I there wasn't enough for me to really say much on it, so I do want to purchase a full size because someone I work with who also has eczema really, really enjoyed this, so I want to give it another shot. I used up the Benefit Professional primer sample that I have. I really like this. I want to get the full size. I really like it for my nose because I have really large pores on my nose. Um, and then last two items are skincare. Um... I used up uh, another Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Really, really love this. And I just, I really need to bite the bullet and get the full size, basically. But I am i haven't yet. And then the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. It's empty, but I didn't use it up. Um, I used it like three times, and I really liked it. And then when I came back for Grand Assembly, because I brought it to Grand Assembly, it, uh, I apparently didn't shut it all the way. And I got it everywhere. So, but I would repurchase that as well. So that's everything, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.